Now that we're done with the outside setup, we can head on inside and I'll show you how to set everything up. Once you arrive at your destination, you're going to want to walk around the unit just to make sure that there's nothing that this slide out, when you open it, can bump into like a picnic table or a tree. Uh, and then right up here is a very easy slide out button and you'll slide this out until you hear it stop. To open up your awning on this unit is so nice and convenient. All you have to do is push the awning out and the awning's going to open up for you. Um, if you have inclement weather, wind or, or rain, you may want to pull that in to avoid damage. But there is also um, a nice little light that you can turn on at night, an LED light under that awning. This unit also comes equipped with um, the radio, the Bluetooth capability. So you can connect this bad boy to your phone and the code's going to be 0000. Up here is going to be your um, tank indicator and battery indicator. You can push those buttons. It's just an estimate because um, the tanks kind of get coated and then they're not as accurate. So just use this as an estimate. If you're going to be using uh, hot water, very important that you first connect your city water, turn that on. Then you can flip on the water pump and then the water heater. You never want to run the water heater without water coming through or it'll burn it out. There's two different water heaters, one if you're strictly on gas, one if you're on electric. Um, and I usually just throw that on about 20 minutes before I want hot water. The refrigerator is a pretty um, easy unit as well. Uh, you'll flip this open right here. If you're connected to electricity, you're going to flip this over to electric and it should fire up for you. If you don't have electricity and you're going to be running this off of propane, you're going to want to switch this to propane. In front, you're going to want to make sure that the propane has, tank has been turned on. And then you'll need to spark the refrigerator to get that going. Um, these refrigerators take a while to cool down. Um, so one way to get the propane to the fridge a little bit faster would be to bleed the line through the stove. So you would turn the stove on, let that run, um, light it and then let that run a little bit and that'll draw the propane to the fridge a little bit faster. If you have electric hookup, you don't have to worry about that step, um, any of that, because it just fires right up. Um, when you come home, you're going to want to switch that back to off. As promised, we do have amenities in here. Um, up here is where you're going to find all your cups, plates, bowls, uh, down beneath are pots and pans, utensils. They may shift a little bit while you're driving, so upon arrival, you're going to want to kind of reorganize those. But those are all there. In the, the outside units are your punchy pie makers and your hot dog sticks and all that good stuff, your um, lawn chairs. So this is your dinette that folds down into a queen-size bed. And to fold it down, you're just going to pick this table up off the legs and drop it down onto these boards. One thing I like to do is take this... Um, beveled side and face it in. That way when you go to get up off of your bed, it doesn't get topsy-turvy. So face this in. There'll be a little hole, but when the cushions are laid down flat on it, you don't even know. It's a pretty comfy bed. Inside the, um, the toilet shower, uh, you'll find we have special toilet paper. You need to use camping toilet paper in these units to um, help them flush out a little bit easier. If you do need to use heat on your vacation, this is where the thermostat is here to turn on the heat. And then right up here is how you would control your AC. Last but not least, a nice little added feature of this unit is it does come with a stowaway table that you can put outside for your cocktails or, um, or food.